China's mighty Y-20 cargo plane takes flight. Reshaping the global air transport landscape. What makes the Y-20 a game-changer for China's air transport in the eyes of the world? Hey, did you know that in the skies, there's a Kuanping from the east, and every flap of its wings draws global attention? This Kuanping is China's Y-20 large transport aircraft. You might have caught a glimpse of its massive yet agile form in the news, but do you really know the story behind it? How did it go from a mere concept to a steel behemoth soaring through the heavens? And why has it managed to carve out its own niche in the fiercely competitive global transport aircraft arena, even reshaping the global air transport landscape? Today, let's uncover the untold story of the Y-20. The birth of the Y-20 is a monumental achievement resulting from the nation's strategic foresight and meticulous planning, embodying a strong national will. In 2006, facing a complex international situation and the pressing needs of national development, the country swiftly organized the major science and technology special project demonstration for large aircraft. A gathering of top industry experts, after multiple rounds of rigorous discussions and analyses, unanimously agreed that large aircraft play a crucial role in enhancing the nation's overall strength and are a strategic priority for boosting China's independent innovation capabilities. This conclusion shone like a beacon in the fog, pointing the way forward for the future development of China's aviation industry. In 2007, the State Council's executive meeting officially approved the establishment of the major science and technology special project for large aircraft development. This decision was like a boulder thrown into a calm lake, creating massive ripples in the aviation sector and declaring China's firm determination to take on the challenge of developing large aircraft. Subsequently, the military equipment authorities quickly convened a mobilization and deployment meeting for the development of large transport aircraft together with the Commission for Science, Technology and Industry for National Defense, clearly designating the first Aircraft Institute, FAI, to be responsible for the design and Xi'an Aircraft Industry Corporation, XSE, to undertake the main manufacturing tasks. This series of rapid and well-coordinated actions was like a meticulously choreographed play, from project demonstration to approval, and then to the determination of design and manufacturing units. Each step was closely linked and crucial, all working towards a single goal, to facilitate the smooth birth of the Y-20 and usher in a new chapter in China's aviation endeavors. From design to manufacturing, every aspect of the Y-20 was fraught with challenges. The wing design adopted a supercritical airfoil, which was no easy feat the design team had to complete the plan on time and ensure its aerodynamic performance met the design requirements. Do you know how difficult that is? It's like walking a tightrope in the high sky, a slight misstep could lead to failure. But the team did it, successfully applying this technology to enhance the aircraft's performance. During the structural drawing phase, FAI completed the issuance of a large number of drawings, the establishment of digital models, and numerous tests. Every piece of data and every drawing embodied the painstaking efforts of countless researchers. The design of the Flight Management System, FMS, posed a significant challenge. FAI and related institutes formed a joint task force and spent three years overcoming technical hurdles. The full-time, full-authority fly-by-wire FBW, flight control system technology was even more critical. FAI, along with the Aviation Industry Corporation's Auto Control Institute and other units, repeatedly conducted research and experiments, ultimately successfully developing the FBW system. These achievements were not obtained casually, they were the result of countless days and nights of hard work and dedication. In the manufacturing phase, the Y-20 also faced numerous difficulties. The design emphasized structural weight reduction, and the chief designer systematically adopted various methods to reduce structural weight. The trial production work was extremely complex. XAC, shouldering immense pressure for final assembly and integration, while Shangxi Aircraft Industry Group, SSE, independently funded the construction of a digital work platform. The multi-wheel, multi-strut landing gear trial produced by the landing gear company saw a significant improvement in technical level. The entire trial production process achieved a seamless integration of digital design and manufacturing, overcoming hundreds of key manufacturing technologies. In September 2010, the Aeronautical Manufacturing Technology Institute, AMTI, solved the manufacturing challenge of the aircraft's main flap track in just three months. XSE, in collaboration with universities, achieved a one-time successful large cruciform docking of the Y-20, propelling the assembly of large aircraft towards automation, digitalization, and flexible assembly. 
These breakthroughs laid a solid foundation for the birth of the Y20. Finally, on January 26, 2013, China's domestically produced large, multi-purpose transport aircraft, the Y-20, successfully completed its maiden flight. This flight was a momentous occasion, marking a significant breakthrough for China in the field of large transport aircraft. In July 2016, the Y-20 was commissioned into the military, officially beginning its mission journey. Subsequently, the Y-20B, equipped with four domestically produced high-thrust, high-bypass ratio turbofan WS-20 engines, completed its test flight and entered military service, further enhancing the Y-20's capabilities. Now, let's take a detailed look at the Y-20's performance, which is truly impressive. It adopts a high-wing configuration, underwing-mounted engines, and a T-tail aerodynamic layout, equipped with four turbofan engines and one auxiliary power unit, APU. The fuselage features a wide-body, flattened circular cross-section, with a fully pressurized cargo cabin and a large rear cargo door, along with a multi-wheel, multi-strut tricycle landing gear. The semi-monocoque fuselage consists of frames, stringers slash beams, and skin. The cockpit and cargo cabin can be isolated and pressurized. The wings are swept back trapezoidal supercritical airfoils, with the wing box serving as an integral fuel tank, and feature full-span slats and triple-slotted fowler flaps. The main structure of the T-tail horizontal stabilizer is made of carbon fiber composite materials, while the vertical stabilizer has a dual spar structure, with the rudder divided into two parts, each with forward and aft linked sections. The all-moving horizontal tailplane can be pitched, and the elevators are divided into inner and outer segments. The landing gear includes the nose landing gear, main landing gear, and tail skid. The nose landing gear is a conventional tandem dual-wheel configuration, while the main landing gear is a multi-wheel, multi-strut design with oblique shock absorbers, featuring three struts and six wheels on each side of the fuselage. The landing gear is also equipped with temperature and pressure monitoring devices. This series of designs allows the Y-20 to achieve a very high level of performance. The aircraft employs a two-pilot glass cockpit and fly-by-wire controls, featuring various control surfaces to ensure flight quality and safe flight capabilities in special circumstances. The forward fuselage has symmetrical boarding slash paratrooper doors, and the rear cargo compartment has a five-door configuration. The cargo compartment is equipped with loading slash unloading and airdrop systems. The flight control system has comprehensive functions, with three hydraulic systems providing power for control, and the environmental control system enabling automatic control and monitoring. The integrated avionics system is centered around two integrated processors and utilizes an AFDX network as its main bus. The cockpit uses integrated display and control technology, employing specific equipment for human-machine interaction. This makes the Y-20's operation more convenient and efficient, while also enhancing flight safety. The Y-20 possesses cargo and personnel transport, airdrop, and mission management capabilities. Its design is general-purpose and modular, allowing for rapid configuration changes to meet diverse transportation needs and enabling various airdrop and paratrooper deployment methods. The mission management system can perform multiple mission-related operations. The aircraft utilizes distributed technology to achieve multi-system control and information management, featuring fault detection and status monitoring functions. In terms of performance data, the crew consists of three members. The aircraft has a length of 47 meters, a wingspan of 50 meters, a height of 15 meters, and a wing area of 330 square meters. Its maximum takeoff weight is 179,000 kilograms, maximum fuel capacity is 77,500 kilograms, and maximum payload is 55,000 kilograms, based on data with D30 KP2 engines. Engine options include the D30 KP2, single engine maximum thrust of 103 knots, or the WS-20, among others. Its maximum speed ranges from 750 to 920 km per hour, its service ceiling is 13,000 meters, its range is greater than 7,800 km, its full payload range is 4,400 km, and its takeoff and landing runway distance is 800 meters. Such performance places it in a significant position among global large transport aircraft. Compared to transport aircraft from Europe and the United States, the Y-20 also has its own advantages and characteristics. Take the American C-17 Globemaster III, for example. The C-17 has a fuselage length of 53 meters, a height of 16.79 meters, and a wingspan of 51.8 meters, 
making it slightly larger than the Y-20 in dimensions. The C-17's internal cargo compartment has a length of 26.83 meters, a width of 5.49 meters, and a minimum height of 3.76 meters. In terms of carrying capacity, the C-17's normal maximum takeoff weight is said to be 265 tons, with an officially announced maximum payload of 77.5 tons. When the early Y-20 used D-30 KP-2 engines and the Chinese-produced WS-18 engines, there was a significant gap in maximum takeoff weight and payload compared to the C-17. However, with the advent of the Y-20B, which uses WS-20 engines, the maximum takeoff weight may increase by 10 to 20 tons, and the maximum payload could potentially reach 66 tons, or at least exceed 60 tons, continuously narrowing the gap with the C-17. Moreover, the Y-20 has unique features in some aspects. For instance, its avionics and flight control systems have been continuously optimized, possessing a high degree of automation, which can reduce the pilot's workload and enable functions such as low-altitude night flight. This is of significant importance in combat and special mission execution. Looking at the European A400M Atlas transport aircraft, its tonnage is smaller and it cannot transport main battle tanks, placing it in a different class than the Y-20. The Y-20's cargo floor width exceeds 4.5 meters, allowing it to easily accommodate main battle tanks and even larger missile launchers, giving it a clear advantage in transporting large military equipment. Furthermore, the Y-20 has a long range, a maximum takeoff weight of 220 tons, and a conservatively estimated fuel capacity of over 60 tons. Utilizing a supercritical airfoil and drag reduction design, its excellent aerodynamic shape enables it to fly nearly 10,000 kilometers. This range advantage is of significant value in global power projection. From a global perspective, large transport aircraft hold immense strategic significance for a nation. In the Iraq War, the United States used transport aircraft to deliver over 95% of the total invested military equipment and ammunition, meaning that over 95% of all forces deployed by the U.S. to the battlefield were transported by air. Compared to other methods, transport aircraft offer greater speed, accuracy, efficiency, and safety. Similarly, when comparing to the maritime transport of troops, transport aircraft can deliver all military equipment to the battlefield in just a few hours, whereas maritime transport can take 10 or even dozens of hours to arrive. In emergency situations requiring the rapid deployment of troops in combat power, the role of transport aircraft is self-evident. The emergence of the Y-20 has significantly enhanced China's strategic airlift capabilities, giving China greater say in its global strategic layout. The Y-20 not only plays a crucial role in the military field but also holds great potential in civilian and humanitarian aid efforts. During the severe pandemic, the Y-20 transported hundreds of tons of supplies and thousands of medical personnel to Wuhan, making a significant contribution to the fight against the epidemic. It has also represented the nation in providing friendly assistance and humanitarian aid to other countries on multiple occasions, demonstrating China's responsibility as a major power. Moreover, the civilian version of the Y-20, the Y-20F-100, made its debut at the 2024 Zhuhai Airshow. Its cargo cabin design has been optimized to support the installation of standardized civilian containers and pallets, and it is expected to fill gaps and play an important role in international cargo transport and the domestic market for super-large cargo aircraft in the future. Looking ahead, the Y-20 will continue to develop and improve. With continuous technological advancements, the Y-20 may see further enhancements in payload capacity, range, and avionics systems. At the same time, China may also develop larger and more advanced transport aircraft to meet the nation's growing strategic needs. The success of the Y-20 has accumulated valuable experience for the development of China's aviation industry and laid a solid foundation for the research and development of subsequent models. It shines like a bright star, illuminating the path forward for China's aviation industry. The story of the Y-20 is a legend filled with hard work and perseverance. It has witnessed China's rise in the field of science and technology and demonstrated the wisdom and courage of the Chinese people. We hope everyone will continue to follow the development of the Y-20 and the continuous progress of China's aviation industry. We believe that in the future, China's aviation endeavors will bring even more surprises. Thank you for reading, and see you next time.